guys sorry for the little delay on this next part this is part four I believe of the video series uh, yes part four um, of how to make a dubstep track uh, I'm Dom if you uh, if you're new to this video uh, please go ahead and go back to the first part uh, all the links are in the description um, okay so if you're continuing on uh, I did a few things I uh, added in drum samples, so if you found drum samples by now, go ahead and put in whatever ones you want. Um, and I put in I put in a kick drum and a uh, a snare. Actually, I got a <coughs> I'm gonna put in a hi hat also. Whoops. And um, of course, the these are all thousand free drum samples. Uh, you get them off of drumsamples.org. That's also that's also in the uh, description. So if you're looking for free drum samples, there's a thousand free of them. And that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if they're royalty free or not. So this is uh this is what we have so far. I'm gonna play it back. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. The white noise is a little too loud. I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so um, I believe in part, I don't know which part, but um, I also added in uh, the transfer back to the melody. All you really need to do is add your riser again at the end and uh, just go back into the melody. Um, you know, I mean, we could do a bunch of things with this drop in order to make it sound a lot better. Um, one thing would be adding in like sound effects, like samples and stuff. I don't know where I found this folder of samples. I just kind of Googled like a dubstep sample pack and I found this. <laughs> um has a bunch of stuff like <laughs> that actually I downloaded by myself. Actually, if you want samples, there's a website called uh freesound.org and if you sign up on there, you uh um, you can find a shit ton of sounds. If you want a record scratch, you can type in record scratch. If you want um a bass modulation you can type that in um, like some of the some of these uh, I made myself like this like I've got balls well not made steel. myself I got myself um, like this oh my god we're burning alive so what I'm gonna do is I guess we'll start adding samples within this drop um, now typically how you do this is you just go to channel add one audio clip and if you find a sample that you like for instance we're gonna use um where is it not that not that nope <laughs> the shotgun I have a shotgun cock actually uh fuck me uh, I'm gonna do this real quick I'm gonna go into the master oh wow okay well I'll explain this later um, I'm gonna add in Edison, which is um it it basically lets you create samples. So we have the shotgun cock, but it comes in like two seconds later. So I'm gonna click and drag the area where the shotgun is, and I'm gonna click this little area and put that right in the audio clip. So now I can put this anywhere within the thing. So if we want it, well, we're gonna switch this to one half the step so we can move this accordingly there we go so like now when it wobbles so like put in between wobbles it's a little loud and it maybe if you have a shot uh, like a shot like a um if I can find a gunshot shot. I've got balls of <coughs> Excuse me. Like that. The chain this this is perfect. 
channels, audio clip, click and drag. All right. So we can put that like right here. Basically, what I'm trying to point out is that you can make your wobble more interesting by adding just simple sounds. Um, whether it be vocal samples, like, for instance, Chris Farley. Oh my god. Or gun sounds, like I just did here. Or anything, really, to spice up the wobble. Now... I I mean I I really I I guess we'll well how much time are we at? We're at five minutes. We're gonna start like mastering. We're gonna start mastering. Um. So hit F nine. That takes you to your mixer. Hit this button, view mixer. Um, and you'll open up your mixer. Um. Now the first thing you'll see is your master one. Take this fucking fruity limiter off of it right now. I will tell you that now. You don't need Edison. I can get rid of this now. You don't have to open that up unless you're trying to trim down audio clips. Okay. I'm going to be... Well, hmm. Okay, I'm not going to use what I usually use for mastering. So, we're just going to parametrically equalize all the sounds that we need. So, we're going to assign each uh, sound to a track. This right here is what what uh insert it is in the mixer right okay so the kick we'll put in one the snare drums will all we'll put in two. Oh wait that's the hi-hat uh the hi-hat will put in three the wobbles will put in four the white noise doesn't need to be edited the hard lead will put in five the sub bass will also put in four. The cymbal can go in three. <clears throat> These sounds can go into six. Okay. We're just going to parametrically equalize each of these sounds for, for convenience. So, go to insert one click the little down arrow over here and hit uh, parametric EQ2 um, this one's ten times better than the first one so we're gonna start mastering our kick sound so let's do this alright whoa alright there we go so basically the parametric EQ what time are we at okay Basically, basically the parametric EQ, uh, you see these here, these little labels here. There's low bass, bass, low mids, mids, upper mids, uh, not sure what that's, resonance or something, and then treble. Okay, so with a kick, you can do either. You can lower the bass, so it's not as triggering to your sub bass, or you can raise it so it's even more triggering. I like lowering it because let's play back a beat uh, pattern two. But probably raising it is better for this video. <coughs> Lower this a little bit, bit more. Oh no, raise this a little bit more, I'm sorry. So we got a really hardcore hit there. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Go to your go to channel number two, which is where your snare's at. We're gonna add a reverb onto it. I like fruity reverb too. Actually, no, I do not. Don't use fruity reverb two. It's retarded. Use fruity reverb one. We're gonna put the reverb down to like seven percent reverb. Whoops. Okay. Um, the room size, let's see, about 10, the decay to 1, if I could, if I could just, if I could, there we go, 
So now, let me do this. So you want a reverb on it, but you don't want it to continue after it's done hitting. You want it to reverb as long as the sound's playing. Um, now let's equalize it. Add a free parametric EQ. And you want to bring down the low bass all the way down. Put the resonance a little bit up. And the, seven, the treble higher than the resonance. So now it sounds good. So right, let me uh, turn both of those off. Here's what it is before. After. You can put your bass drum. You can put your bass drum with resonance, but I don't suggest it. Uh, okay, so uh, that's all the time I have right now. Uh, part five will be coming soon.